Patient involvement is a bit of a buzzword right now, but it's a hugely important aspect of clinical trials that has probably been ignored for many years in the past. And it is coming to the front now, which I think is a fantastic development. It is being discussed in many different forums, uh, whether they are at the regulatory level or they are at the pharmaceutical industry level or even at the clinical research organization level. It is now becoming quite clear that as participants, as the most important participants in the clinical research process, patients' voice, voices matter. And they matter not just in how we design the protocols of these studies, but they also matter in how we find uh, other patients who may not have access to clinical research, but would really like to participate. They um, matter in terms of dispelling misunderstandings that people have, misgivings that people have about clinical trials and participation in clinical trials. They have a hugely important role in creating a bridge between the industry and its consumers. And it has a really important part in helping to describe a patient's journey through a clinical trial and focusing on those endpoints that matter to the patient's quality of life and that are not just there as a measure of a lab value or uh, a certain clinical uh, outcome that you might measure, but they actually have a meaningful impact on the patient's lives. And those are the things that we should be focusing on measuring through our clinical trials. At George Clinical, we are uh, trying to include the patient voice in our interactions with the industry, in our clinical trials, and we are partnering with the George Institute for Global Health, who are also uh, developing panels uh, and mechanisms to ensure that this is built into the way we do our research.